dish now with some wonderful Japanese influences in it. It's incredibly simple. We're going to bake it in one dish in the oven. It's a nice white fish with a wasabi and panko crust. So the first thing that I've got is a lovely dish that'll just fit into the oven. I'm going to grease it up with a little bit of butter so there's nothing sticks to the bottom. Now it's time to start making that lovely crust. I'm going to use panko breadcrumbs today, which are these little fellas here, which are basically you'll find in all supermarkets. Now in there, I'm going to put my olive oil, a little bit of mayonnaise. I've got some nice thyme leaves. And now the absolute secret ingredient and the thing that makes this whole dish work so, so well is wasabi. Now wasabi, if you've had it before, you know it's got that lovely kick to it. Now I put quite a bit of wasabi into mine because I really love that punchy kick that it gives. It can be quite hot and just add in as much as you want, but I'm being really generous with it here. So we're just going to bring that together and this crust is going to sit on top of our fish. Now we're going to set the fish on a couple of little things in our dish. So the first thing I'm going to do is just roughly chop some tomatoes. And the fish is just going to sit up on top of these. So my tomatoes go in there. Next thing that I'm going to put in on top of those tomatoes is a nice thinly sliced shallot. So just cut it in half and then slice it lengthways. This is the perfect sort of dish. What I love about it is that you can make it in advance. So the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to get my fish out of the fridge. Now today, being in Ireland, I'm using some really nice local cod. The thing about this dish is it works perfectly with any fish. You could use a lovely piece of chili and sea bass, maybe a nice piece of halibut. It really does lend itself perfectly to all those white fish. So what I have here is my little cod fillet. When I get a piece of white fish, I'm looking for something that's nice and fleshy. You're smelling it. It has to smell lovely and fresh. No fishy smell off it at all. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to season these just with a little bit of cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper actually comes from the same family as paprika. It's just a little bit stronger. And it's going to add that little spicy bit to go along with the wonderful wasabi in there. So now I go back to my crust. Just use a spoon. I'll put the crust on there. And I've washed my hands. So as soon as I spoon it on, I find the best way is just to press it down in. And you want to make sure it coats nice and evenly. I think that what works so well about this is you've got two great textures. Once the breadcrumbs crisping up, they're going to be really nice and crunchy. And then down below, you're going to have that nice white fish that will be moist when you bite into it. So those fish are really nicely crumbed now. Now the last thing I'm going to do is just a little bit of olive oil over the top. That just helps to bind it and make it all stick together. Just like that. Now back over here, what I have are some lovely fresh basil leaves. So I'm just going to lay those on top of my tomatoes. Now the beauty of this dish is, I think people when they're cooking fish might struggle to make a nice sauce. This is going to make its own sauce. That's what I love about it. Once it's in the tray, it's going to be absolutely perfect. And the sauce will come together 100% on its own. So on top of the basil, I just set my nice fish. Very carefully. like so. And then to help make that sauce, the tomatoes will sort of form the base of it. There's lots of nice juices that are going to come out of there. The fish will release some nice juices and it'll stay nice and moist. So, just a little bit of cream. Some white wine. Make sure you don't pour any of this over that lovely panko crust because we want to get that nice and crispy. So in that goes. And lastly, some chicken stock. I must say that is just looking fantastic already. 
We're going to pop that into the oven. The lovely white wine, the cream, that's all going to start to cook. And that will cook the fish from the bottom up. It will be lovely and moist. We'll also have the heat coming down from the top of the oven, which should give us a lovely crispy golden brown panko crust. Really excited about this one. Now, depending on the type of fish that you use, the cooking times are going to differ. I'm using the cod, so I reckon it'll take 12, 13 minutes. If you're using something like a Chilean sea bass, it might take a little bit longer, 16 or 17 minutes. But the key to this is really keeping that fish nice and moist.